Continuing from our last video, we have our work site list now complete. We saw that we can export it to either Google Docs. In this case, I'm going to go to work because I work with the Word file right now. So print and export to Word. I create this. I click it, I open it. Oh, that looks good. We're going to go back and look at the original. So we're going to copy this actually. I'm going to put it into the original. The original is right here. There's the lab. And that's what the person originally had. It's not a reference list, it's a works site list. And they missed all kinds of information. So we're going to just paste in our correct one. Now we also need to fix our in text citation. So I'm going to go up. And this first one was the physics classroom um, for potential energy. So we're going to find out which one that was. Oh, good case. Remember we had Tom Henderson twice because the physics classroom is an excellent site. And so we need to reference this. Let's see how we do it. We go over to our good friend Noodle Tools. We go to this potential energy one, I click over here, and I click on in-text reference. And it just says, I should do Henderson. Note, there's not the only way. So they give us some various rules. And this is a special case, which I'm happy I have, so you're going to see some problems. And they tell us different ways to do things. And I'm going to go rule five, when there are two entries of the same author or no author and title. We need to find some way to separate them, find a publication fact that distinguishes the two of them. For us, it's the actual title of the web page. For a web page, use a title of the overall website, for instance. So in our case, it's going to be Henderson, and then this was kinetic energy, Henderson potential energy. That's fine. So we're going to go to Word, go up to the top, and this is going to be potential energy, but first it's going to be Henderson, comma, no dot there. This will also be Henderson. For this one, I know this form is for kinetic energy, so this is going to be the form of the page for kinetic energy. Let's go back and just check. Yeah. Let's do a little more regular one. Let's try to get this air resistance one. A more regular one. Soft schools. That was this one. So we're going to go in text reference. And it's just going to be air resistance. Notice the dot is not within the quotes here. Air resistance. We put the dots here, let's get it on the same line, and we get rid of that dot there. And that's it. So it should be pretty simple. Once you have your works cited list, you just basically take what's normally the first thing here. Air resistance formula, Henderson, normally we just say Henderson because there's two Hendersons, we need the difference between the two. And this one would just be Tuckerman. Let's do a, an author one too. Let's find this one. Where is it? Is 
Hmm. So in this case, it looks like it's not actually referenced, which is actually kind of good. So we have another example. So if something's not actually referenced, we would delete it. This is called a works cited list, where we're citing what we've actually referenced. So I'm quite happy that happened here. Fortunate serendipity for us all.